they're just yeah they're just so fun and fun to play with and on the PlayStation 3 we can really add more detail more animation they can be so much more expressive you know and that's just really rock and oh, then with worry. the environments, you know, we got so much, so much more ability to do <laughs> I, I, bigger, You almost were there. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> lush <laughs> and, you know, and organic. But we're still really, really trying to stay uh, true to the original art style. That sort of simple, bold shapes and just the rich colors. That, that's just like totally emblematic. Of, like, I, I, yeah, I venture to say that the, the cell shading is, is very much a part of, of it. It wouldn't be sly without it. So, what do we, all right, we have a, a, what appears to be a boss battle here. Tell, tell us what we're seeing. Yeah, so, um, well, back when we were working on the collection, we saw, uh, we, we kind of, you know, got to see all the games in absolute minute detail. And um, we could really look at the, the kind of features that we really wanted to explore and expand upon and just, just really kind of uh, bring over and blow out for the player. PS3. So uh, back in Sly 1, you remember, like they had the kind of sort of pattern based uh, cities complex boss battles. Oh, oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so we really wanted to kind of bring that out, except really blow them out into these sort of epic, great big, oh, this is going to hurt. Aye. Um, these sort of set piece, just boss battles, which are just going to incorporate everything that you've like learned and acquired in the episode building up to it. So it was a challenging game. Uh, I mean, no doubt. I mean, would you say that Sly 4 is going to have that level of challenge? Yeah, yeah. That's it's, good. Uh, you got to bring your A game. Good, good. It's, That's very good. Because I love that it's style. it's uh, it looks kid friendly, and of course it, it is a family friendly game. But there's something for the hardcore. Yeah, it's for everybody. You know. Tell us more. What, what are we looking at here? So, so this uh, this is El Jefe. Um, he is an egomaniacal tin pot dictator. He's built this thousand foot statue of himself. Little little ego issues, you know. And uh, so Sly's chased him all the way to the top, and he's finally able to confront him. And something else that we really wanted to go with uh, in the boss battles is just level destruction. We're just gonna blow the snot out of the place, you know. By the time they're done, there'll be just a couple of little burnt toothpicks at the bottom, you know. It's uh, just giving that epic kind of feel, and now you'll see like how the how the gameplay expands. That sort of pattern oriented. Uh, it's not limited by the, the combat moves. It's just Whoa, all kinds okay. of crazy stuff you can do. Really got to bring the A game here. So let's talk about uh, it's season time. Uh, what, what's the um, what's the upgrade system? What, what uh, you know? This, it, 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 what can you talk about at this point? Because I know there's there's outfits that we see Sly uh, changing yeah. into. Every episode. Uh, you're yeah. Gonna, what are we gonna, seeing right there? So here you've collected a suit of armor. Uh, now in the original games, you know, costumes were disguises. Yeah. But uh, in Thieves in Time, uh, all these costumes will have an innate special ability. So this one is uh, this suit of armor is not only impervious to fire, but it also ha comes with this really cool shield that allows uh, Sly to deflect the incoming uh, uh, fireball. So you can see him using it right here. Yeah, sort of like a, uh, a, a samurai type of uh, outfit. Yeah, very cool. Um, and yeah, so uh, the, the cool thing about the costumes is you can then go back to previous episodes with the costume on, and then you can explore areas that you couldn't get to before because you can use it's the costume. Is it going to be a lot of collection? Because I mean, that's that's part of the fun. I would say, you know, yeah. there's there's the action, there's the platforming, and there's collection. It's a huge part of the Slayer universe. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, the clue bottles are going to be back. You're going to be hunting around for all kinds of stuff in the levels. Uh, a lot of going back and forth and revisiting things and uncovering new things. So, yeah, really, you know, like evolve evolve the game, you know, like uh, just kind of, it would just seem like a natural progression as you played the Sly Collection and then moving into uh, Thieves in Time. I, I really love how you're able, you're stalling now, aren't you? Because we, the longer we talk, the longer you have to stay alive. I'm, I'm going 10 more minutes, I don't care. All right, so, uh, all right, we have a good cinematic, we'll, we'll, when you beat him, I'll stop talking for a small amount of time. Uh, Sucker Punch, they created uh, Sly, one, two, three. Um, What's it like taking over the reins? And are you working with them at all? Uh, they are awesome. I mean, we got to work on the collection, and you know, got to work closely with them. You know, looking looking at their code base, and I mean, their kung fu is very, very strong. Uh, they are an amazing developer, and you know, uh, it's it's just been an honor to work on the series. Uh, it was super presumptuous of us to kind of to put this out there. We're like, and and they've been really cool, and uh, yeah. Um, and we're just we're just like super excited. It's just such an art. All right, here's that cutscene that uh, <laughs> was being referred to. Oh yeah, we're gonna see a little bit more level destruction here. 
taking the place apart. So wh where in the game is this? Is this towards the beginning or? Um, it's, uh, it's, not, it's towards the middle. Yep. Yeah. Um, not, uh, not the beginning, not the end. It's uh, yeah, yeah, somewhere in between the two. It, yeah. uh, it's definitely epic, and that's what I, you know, I love about the Sly series. It, the boss battles are really tough. And, it, and it, it, it's, you're not going to be likely the first time you face them, but there's a it's it's old school gameplay where it's satisfying when you finally do succeed. Yeah, yeah, good balance, you know, challenge. So this is new to me. I I, I don't recall seeing that recently. The which just, one? Just fit, there's uh, the radar. So let's talk about that. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, so something that uh, you know the levels are bigger yep. and uh, there's more to explore oh. and. Um, we really needed to come up with uh, some slightly uh, newer pieces of interface that would allow you to, to really see where you're going. And uh, and so something that you're kind of seeing there a little bit is uh, some new methods to uh, help you get to where you need to be. Um, yeah, because you, you've got a lot more space, you know, to hunt around in, to explore, to... So I know the community has been crazy. There, I was going to say, how come you didn't tease this at all? But I think uh, <laughs> uh, maybe... You I know, have no idea. I have no idea what we're talking about here. <laughs> if, if you play the Sly Collection all the way through, or if you happen to pass by a movie theater in uh, Infamous 2, you might have had an idea that this game was coming. But the community, uh, why don't we bring them in? Do you have any uh, questions off the Twitter? Why, I do. Uh, <laughs> Sid Schumann. Why, hello there. Cheers. Good to meet you. Uh, Lucas Bullock has a good one here. He's been watching the live stream, and he wants to know whether it's possible to play the entire game without using any of the extra costumes. No. The costumes are uh, a pretty, uh, a pretty instrumental in the in the game. That's a hardcore type of question right That's there. Did you, did you have another one? I do, and actually from the same guy, Lucas Bullock. He must be a big Sly fan. He wants to know if we're going to see characters from any previous Sly games, such as Penelope or Panda King. Um, well, there's, uh, you know, it's not coming out until 2012, so we've got a little bit of time. Well, we've uh, already seen Bentley, or yep. heard Bentley. Yep, uh, definitely Sly, uh, Bentley, and Murray are going to be playable. Yep. There's going to be some some other characters, and yeah, we're going to be definitely, stay tuned, we're no definitely going to be talking about. <laughs> Shame on you for even asking that. All right, so let's uh, continue here. We're, we're seeing some of the classic platforming from Sly. I, um, I think he's uh, he's kind of uh, he's kind of stalling here. He's kind of. Uh, uh, is this as far as you want to go? Yeah. This is as far as it shoots. Okay. <laughs> well, there's some secret stuff. So okay. Well, I thank you very much, Glenn, for thank taking you time so to much. show us Sly for Sly. I'm sorry, Thieves in Time. Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. And uh, 2012, like you said. It's good to see as a Sly fan that with you guys, the series appears to be in great hands. You're right next door. Come on down anytime. This is true. They're, they're, they work right <laughs> down the block, and I'm going to have to take you up on that. Thanks awesome. very much.